how do I get this long-term application started? All right, now listen, that's a very good question. Very good question. Stick around with me to the end and I guarantee that I'll answer all the questions I can for you today. All right, so let's get straight into it. If you don't know me, my name is Kion Church. I'm your in-home healthcare guide. Now, what do I do? I help financially challenge family members to become paid caregivers through the Medicaid long-term healthcare program or what's more commonly known as LTSS. I don't know. I think that's like long-term support system, long-term something. All we know is if you want a paid aid or if you're an aid who wants to get paid, the member needs to be in the LTSS program and that's how we're going to get it started. All right. So listen, before we get it going, I'm going to tell y'all everything, but before we get it going, if you hear with me live, hashtag live. If you hear with me in a rebroadcast, hashtag rebroadcast. Now look, we out here, we on a lot of platforms. Some of you may be listening. Um, some of you may be watching like YouTube. You know, if you if you on the YouTube, subscribe, like, share, hit that button. Always remember to share because I got a lot of good information that a lot of other companies ain't even willing to tell you. You know what I mean? They're going to let you keep spinning your wheels. You know, a lady called me the other day and she said, hey, uh, you know, I heard about what you're doing. I'm with the big company that's on TV running thousand dollars of ads, you know, every five seconds, but can't get anything done because they won't give her the secrets. You know what I mean? So listen, you're here with the right person. You know what I'm saying? You're on the right train. You're just on the wrong track. Me, uh, Mr. KC and Reliable League going to sign you right up. You know what I mean? So look, number one thing that you got to know, if you're already Medicaid, the big hurdles are passed. You know what I mean? You already in Medicaid. The major hurdles are behind you. All we got to do is get you right now, do is get you into the program. And before I give you any information on that, a lot of people always saying, yo, KC, I applied for the program, you know, this and this and that. I'm already in. A lot of people think they already in, but they not. They got like little small steps, you know, to finish the process. But this is the number one thing I can tell you. If you are, in fact, in Medicaid long-term health care program or what's commonly known as LTSS, you will have a personal case manager assigned to you and all your needs. Now, that's the thing. People call me and they say, yo, KC, I'm in the program. You know what I mean? Sign me up. I want to get my, my son or daughter paid for taking care of me. I say, okay, what's your case manager's name and number? And they say, KC, I don't got a case manager. Instantly, I say, you're not in LTSS. You know what I'm saying? Now, look. If you're here with me now and you're getting this good information, hashtag live, you know what I'm saying, or uh, 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 share this thing. Don't be afraid to share because it's a lot of people that's Medicaid, that's not LTSS, that need a paid aid, you know. Um, like I said, if you're already in Medicaid, you sweet. You sweet. Now, all you got to do is get into the program. Now, what I suggest people to do, number one thing I suggest people to do, contact your primary care physician. PCP, all right? Contact your primary care physician. Now, why I say that? Because your doctor is your biggest advocate. You know, if you got things going on with you, you know, you need different services, different things going on in your life. You only got one real person who's going to really stand up the bat for you, and that's your doctor. You know what I mean? Now, not only is your doctor your greatest advocate, your doctor is the person that's going to communicate all the uh, things that you need to the insurance company. You know what I mean? Now, it's a good thing that the doctor's in your in your in your corner. Now, I ain't gonna front. You probably got the kind of doctor he's only trying to get paid. You know what I mean? So, doctors can't really make a lot of money on doctor visits. So what they do is they set you up for other things. So let this be one of the things that the doctor sets you up for, so he can get a little change in his pocket, and you can get a little further in the program doing what you need. I got all the solutions, man. I'm trying to tell you, it's a real slick game that they playing. But you know what I mean? You know, how how slick is it to a can of oil? I got you, baby. I'm going to let you know, really, right here. So, okay, you want to talk to your doc. Get your doc on board. Say, yo, man, uh, I'm applying for this LTSS. He going to know that you already in Medicaid, you know what I mean? Because that's your insurance. So what he's going to say is, okay, cool. When the people call me, I got this report. Uh, you know, it's more like a physical, but they kind of call it like something special because, you know, that's their field and they, you know, comprehensive medical report. All right, whatever. So... Once the doc gets that all together, they'll contact him. He'll send that on over to them. And then, you know, that's the first big move that you're making. All right. Now, the second move that you want to make is you want to call. 
You want to call the number to Central Intake. Now, if you're in Delaware, I'm going to tell you, the number to Medicaid Central Intake is 866-940-8963. Now, that is the number that I think you should call to get this thing started, all right? So, they might try to spin you, you know, if you call other numbers, if you call Medicaid directly, they're going to say, oh, we don't know what you're here for. Listen to me. Medicaid central intake for people in Delaware. If you're watching this, you know, in other states, you know, hashtag what state you in, and I could probably get the central intake number for you. But these are local numbers that's uh, that's really effective for uh, Delaware, Newcastle County, Kent County area, you know what I mean? Because that's what we service. All right, I'm going to give it to you one more time, 866-940-8963. Now, you're going to call this number and you say, hey, look, I'm in Medicaid. I want to get into the LTSS program. They're going to say, okay, cool. We're going to contact your primary care physician, like I already told you, and then we're going to uh, set you up for a financial services interview, which you don't have to worry in your mind about, about passing because you're already in. You're already in Medicaid. They already know your financial status. So you're in. You just got to connect the little dots. It's easy. It's easy. See, it's a big game that they play, but KC know the rules. I got a map to this thing. You feel me? Man, one point in time, I was trying to get it together for my parents, and they was giving me such a hard time, like put me through all the rigmaroles. Look, call this number. We don't know. Call that number. I call that number. They say, hey, man, I don't know what that's all about. Call this number. You got to get to the bottom of things, man. If you don't got some good people in your corner, that's where I come in at. You know what I mean? I have affected. I don't going to say I helped 100 people get into the program, but I helped a lot of people get into the program. I really helped a whole lot of people get into Medicaid and the people that was in Medicaid get into the program. Because guess what? That's what I do, man. I'm your in-home health care guy. All right. So if you back with me due to poor connection, we was down for a minute. But you here, you the real people that I'm talking to, and I love you, man, because you stuck around. So uh, so check this out. Number one thing after you're in Medicaid, you want to call the, uh, the central intake number. That's going to get you into the LTSS program. Talk to those people. Fill out that good application online. Now, due to COVID times, they I don't know how it's going on at the office. You know what I'm saying? But I wouldn't want to go down there. You know what I mean? Me, personally, I like to handle as much stuff as I can handle on the phone. You know what I mean? Look, I'm going to get all my I's dotted, all my T's crossed, so when I get down there or when I finally do talk to somebody that got some pull, you know, everything, all the wax is already laid down, as they say. You feel me? So once you got everything laid down, then it's just a matter of time. They, they connecting the dots. Now, I can't really give you a true time frame of how long it's going to take you to get into the program, but what I can say is once you're in Medicaid, you know, and your doctor signs off on it, you know, it's, 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 it's a wrap. It's a wrap. You're going in. All right. So, uh, most people, let's say this is the, uh, the 12th day of January. Now, most people, they set the services up for the beginning of the month. You know what I mean? So like, uh, if I was applied today and I got accepted probably February 1st, they would stick me in. Now, what I want you to do, um, February 1st, They'll connect me with a case manager. Now, what I want you to do is put me in position with uh, uh, with your aide, with whoever it is that's taking care of you. So what I like to do is by the time you're actually accepted into the program, mm, it's like hitting a light switch and I'm getting your aid paid instantly. All right. So listen, hashtag paid. If you think getting paid is a good thing, you know what I'm saying? If you think getting paid instantly is a good thing, hashtag instantly. You know what I mean? Look, don't forget to share this uh, this broadcast too because there's a lot of people that need a paid aid and this is the only way to get it. This is the only way to get it. Only Medicaid, only long-term health care program pays for a paid aid. And listen, if you missed anything that I, that I, that I uh, said previously, feel free to rewind it back. You know what I'm saying? So look, what I do after I get the people into the program... I, I go ahead and I hire their uh, their relative or their loved one that's taking care of them now. You know what I mean? Because I want to put the paycheck directly in their pocket when they become eligible. Mr. Grant, how you doing today, man? Where you at? Where you watching this broadcast from? So then what I do is uh, all, all, all. Now, these ain't my rules. These are the uh, 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 Medicaid rules. Like, like, I, like I told you, Reliable Aid is a Medicaid service provider. So uh, uh, Medicaid requires different things from the caregivers 
aka direct care workers. Now, the number one thing that they require the caregivers to be is a uh, two-part TB tested. That's where you go and they, they stick this little dot in your arm and then they come back and read it in a couple days and then you got to go back. Then they do it again and you got to go back another week later and they read it again. Uh, what else you going to need? You're going to need a physical, all right? Because uh, we can't have you getting hurt on the job, man. <laughs> I know you're taking care of your loved one, but if you if you fall and hurt yourself or something happened to you, then you're not going to be any good to anybody. You understand what I'm saying? So got to keep your, keep your physical health up, keep your strength up, you know what I mean? Be able to do what it is you can do. All right. Uh, the number three thing that they need, the state needs, is uh, they need a drug test. So all you need is a five-panel drug test. Now, me, I let people go out into the world and get their own drug tests. You know, you can go to MedExpress, LabCorp, wherever you're going, you know what I mean? Just don't pay for more than a five-panel because... Nobody needs more than a five panel. This is not really, uh, you know, that kind of gig. You know what I mean? We just trying to make sure that everything is cool on your end. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? So then, mandatory SBI background check. SBI stands for State Bureau of Investigation Background Check. That's the dude who uh, who pulls all the prints, you know what I mean, for the state. You know, so they're going to pull your prints, make sure that you are all right. You know, uh, I'm going to keep it funky with you. If you're the family caregiver, man, and you're, the, and, and you're an axe murderer, I'm going to still hire you because I love you. If if the member loves you, man, I love you even more than that. And, and the reason why I love you is because I know for a fact I ain't got to stand over your back and tell you, yo, you need to take care of your mom. Your mom need to eat today. You know what I mean? Your mom needed this. Your mom needed that. Yo, keep throwing them hearts, man. Keep throwing them likes. If you see KC on the internet at ever anytime hit the wow face though i love the wow face man that that dude when he come up with them eyes he be moving ah wow <laughs> phoenix arizona in the building all right so listen the last thing could have been the first thing the number one thing are you vaccinated now i'm gonna tell you health the way health care is going everybody got to be vaccinated right now so reliable aid ain't no different we, we pushing these vaccinations because they pushing them you know what i'm saying no you don't have to be vaccinated, but you do have to get tested twice a week if you're unvaccinated, which really sucks. You know what I mean? Now, I'm going to keep it funky with you. I'm unvaccinated. So I'm, I'm, I'm out here getting tested twice a week. It's, it's really crazy, and it's a headache, especially right now. People going back to school, people going back to work. I went outside the other day. It was a line. It was like 100 people in a line just for me to get to the front. I had to, I had to leave out of there, go to two, three other places just to get a test. You know, so don't be like me. You're probably smarter than me. Go ahead and get your vaccination. You know what I mean? Get your booster. Do whatever you got to do because you want to keep your paycheck rolling. You know what I mean? You know, it kind of sucks twice a week if, if you got to take care of somebody and then you're running back and forth trying to get a test. You know what I mean? Uh, just a quick story, man. It was, it was really rough for me last week to get a test. And I happened to be uh, bringing my father home from an appointment. And I saw one of those places... They just it was in like a it was in like a liquor store parking lot, man. And they had um they had like a little a little four post tent up, you know, the kind of joints like you be having in the summertime in your backyard, you know. And uh they had some clipboards out there, go out there and get your stuff, you know, your tests going. Now, I don't know who these people was, man, and they might be kind of funny coming back looking at it, because we never got the results. <laughs> I don't know, man. But uh you gotta find reliable places to do these kind of things for you, man. So you know, once again, you might just want to go ahead and get vaccinated, man. You, you, you're you actually protecting your best investment, man. The parents are your future. Trust me, man. It's so much that I couldn't have gotten done without my pop being on the earth, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, from the from the necessary guidance on up to, you know, shoot, you know what I mean? Hey, whatever, man. My pop is my main dude. So, you know how I go. Protect your main people that you're taking care of and, and make sure that you get these four or five things straightened out so you can become the aid that they need. You know what I mean? Because can't get paid unless you've done, you done these things. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. If you got any more questions, comments, if you had a, a, a terrible experience or even a different kind of experience getting into the Medicaid LTSS program, you know, drop it in the comments. Also, it's a lot of other people out here that's smarter than me. At least they tell me all the time that they're smarter than me. So if you on here and you watching, drop it in the comments. How did you get your parents uh, subscribed or, you know, into the LTSS program? You know what I mean? Let me know. 
KC is always about new ways, always about, you know, what I can do to move this game further. You know what I mean? And that's why I drop the secret sauce on you every day, because I know ain't nobody going to tell you all the secrets like me. You know what I mean? They they too focused in uh putting money in their pocket. You know what I mean? We focus with the people. I love you, man. Look, and you, the attendants out there, the direct care workers, don't let anybody shame or blame you into thinking that taking care of somebody else is bad business. We're doing this to get our blessings. All right. So look, uh, hashtag live, hashtag rebroadcast. But the number one thing I need you to do is share this broadcast, share this thing. Let everybody know how to get into the LTSS program so we can put that chain J in your pocket. All right. Look, I love you. I got to go. Gary Wake pop up. He already ate. You know what I'm saying? And uh, we smooth sailing. We out of here. We just dialysis day. So I got to run. Holler at you in a minute. Take it easy.